Hi, Hi. welcome to our podcast, Playing in Traffic. Welcome to Playing in Traffic. I am Lindsay. I'm Tony. We're sisters. Uh I'm the older sister. I'm Tony. And I'm the little baby, the little cute baby sister. Yeah, she's not that cute or little anymore. So anyway, we're older now, and uh, we love podcasts. (laughs) <laughs> we're so it's like I know it's so awkward. No, it's so funny. We talk totally fine when we're together, and then no. we start. I, I, no, I think it's good. Okay, listen to this. Okay, let's talk about how we love podcasts. So, okay, we have been loving podcasts for years. So we both had office jobs, you know, yeah. years and years ago when our babies were little, and um, we could listen to podcasts all the time. And I also, right now, I can listen to podcasts a lot in my life. So. We love podcasts, and we have really cool stories to tell. And we're like, let's make our own podcast. So here we are. <clears throat> here we are, guys. Here we are. So we are going to um, explore a lot of things in our podcast. So, so we're from Colorado. So we live in Colorado, born and raised, suburban Colorado, raised as Christians. Like, yeah. I would say general Christian, right? That just kind of go to church on Christmas, but a little bit more. I don't know. Our grandma always... Raise us to believe in Jesus. Yeah. I got a, Lindsay, me, I got a little, uh, a little intense with it in high school for a minute, about a year or two. Started uh, going to a youth group with all my friends and I was really, really into it. And then towards the end of high school, I was like, eh, okay, I'm good on that. But I wasn't like, I wasn't like, okay, I'm completely out. I just was like, I probably won't be so intense with it. Um. Around the same time that uh, I graduated, got pregnant, Tony was at the same time introduced to her organization that we will be talking about throughout this podcast. Yeah, and that's what our podcast is going to be about. So um, I joined a really... Um, interesting church in uh, about, I think it was 2006. I was like 23. Yeah, it was 2006. 2006. Yeah, and so um, it's just a really fascinating church, and um, some people call it a cult. Yeah. And some people, you know, um, talk about mind control and brainwashing, and and so actually we've been doing a lot of research, and we've been reading a lot, which we love to do. Also, we read a lot of books, and um, so we just wanted to share what we've been learning. And it's you know share our story. So I as I'm Tony, I'm gonna explain, you know, my perspective as I was actually a deaconess in this church, and I was in there for about I was in there for about ten years. I was a member. I was a deaconess, you know, for about I don't know five years, and so I have a lot of interesting stories and perspectives um, as somebody who experienced you know experienced that church and then Lindsay has an interesting perspective as a family member of somebody who was in the church and I know that there's a lot of people out there who are curious about cults and curious about mind control I am I'm fascinated by it and so we just want to explore that and I know that there's also a lot of family members who are worried or you know, concerned about their, you know, if they have loved ones inside this church or any other kind of, you know, mind control group, we want to, you know, possibly be a tool and a resource and a comfort to those people. So I think, you know, that's what we're going to do in this podcast. So I left the um, church about, you know, we're going to not really say the name of the church as much as we can. Um, We're going to talk specifically about things in the church. So it'll be very easy for you to research and find the name of the church. But, um, you know, for legal reasons and also um, I don't have any kind of like ill will towards the church or anybody in the church. I love the people that are in the church. There are beautiful, funny, fascinating, interesting people in the church that I love and miss dearly. And um, so I just want to put it out there in the very beginning that I don't have any kind of slander or blame or you know say any hate I just personally um my brain feels a little bit confused and 
I feel like as a healing process, I want to express and say and tell some of these stories. And um, so it's a little bit um, selfish on my end because it's sort of like part of my healing. But um, I thought that it would be be good to do together. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't think that it's selfish at all. I think part of this process is uh, discovering those feelings where you're like getting caught up in that. Um, one of the things that, that we kind of struggled with was um, your your feeling of calling it a cult. Like as right. we're exploring like how to, how to go about this podcast and kind of put it together. And that's been a fascinating journey to watch you kind of go through of like, it's not a cult, it's absolutely not. And then kind of like, I don't know, the more that I kind of look into it. Um, yeah, we're not like looking to like send anyone to jail or anything, but it's definitely as you're kind of going through your process of like dealing with things, I think that you're kind of seeing things that we kind of saw on the outside is like, that's not right. Or like, that's kind of weird. Uh, most churches don't make you do that. And, right. um, <laughs> and, and so kind of through our research, we've, we found a, like a few perspectives of the church, but kind of analyzed from a Christian religious perspective of like another Christian analyzing the teachings of your old church. Um, and that is kind of uh, not really where we want to come from because I'm coming from an atheist point of view and from a family member point of view. And so it's not like this church is wrong because they're teaching these like specific Bible teachings wrong. It's more of like this so the social aspect of how they kind of run the church. Um, more of like the stuff that it does to like the actual individual people. And that's not so much like, they teach the Bible this way, but it should be taught this way, right? Like it's incorrect because they're teaching it incorrectly. It's more of an yeah. analysis on like you as an individual member, me as an like an individual family member from the outside and kind of yes. a more personal, like a personal examination of it rather than like a religious examination. Yes. Of it. Yeah. So I, that's perfect. So I, I, probably stopped keeping service around um, 2019, I think it was before coronavirus. So that's when I, like I kept my final service probably. So that's like two years ago. Right. But, but even before that, I was kind of like not really going that much. So I really, I really wasn't, you know, being a good member. And, so, but even though I was like leaving the church physically with my body, my mind was still trapped and, and even now, and so that's what I'm working through. And um, my mind is still sometimes confused and trapped in their thoughts and in their teachings. And so when, uh, as I'm coming out and I'm looking for resources or I'm looking for help, I am finding a lot of good resources, which we're going to speak about in this podcast. But um, there are so many resources that are coming from Christian churches and Christian perspectives and that totally turns me off and I don't want that kind of help um I want like more of a secular help you know and so that's yeah. why that's exactly right that's what I want to explore I want to explore you know how do groups how how does group think work how does love bombing work how does mind control work how does hypnosis work um how do our brains change when we're in a group you know and um how so those are the kinds of things that i want to explore like you said i don't have any interest in like getting into bible doctrine or like bible teachings that's not my purpose i don't think you know i just want to explore and question you know how easily can we be manipulated without us even realizing it because of course nobody wants to join a cult Nobody yeah. wants to be manipulated in their brain, you know, and so um, and nobody ever expects that they would join a cult. And so those are the kinds of things that we want to explore. You know, how can we make sure that we're not going to be involved in a cult? And, you know, I experienced something and I hope that people can learn from my own experience as opposed to having to go through it themselves because, you know, it was a long, hard journey and I and I want to talk about it. Yeah. And honestly, I have not talked about it. Um, I I don't know why I've 
haven't been able to deal with it or talk about it to anybody. And so a lot of these things, you know, this is going to be the first time that I'm talking about it. And so I know that it's going to be hard, but you know, I'm ready. I want to be vulnerable. I want to be open. I think that all of it is going to be very, very helpful for. Yeah. Yay. So we're very excited. Um, we have an email address if anyone out there listening to this first episode wants to send us questions or wants us to um, like address anything specific. Uh, we just want to kind of know like who's out there listening and um, kind of see. Yeah. like what Please we send us an for. email. I love. OK, I know it's so silly, but I email and reach out to people all the time. Like if I love your podcast, if I love what you're doing, I always shout it out because I just think, you know, it's so helpful. It's so yeah. helpful. We want to hear what you like, what you want to hear about, what your questions are. Um, we want to hear, you know, even if anybody wants to like come on and talk with us or do an interview, if anybody who is a current member wants to come on and talk to me, I would love it. I would love, you know, to talk to anybody who is still in the church. I, I missed you guys and I love you so much. And uh, I would love to hear from you. Um, it is, uh, what is it? <laughs> oh, playing in traffic 2012 at gmail.com. Yeah. And you so can go please, to our Facebook send page. Out. Sorry. Go to our Facebook page. It's also the same playing in traffic at Facebook. Um, Tony, I'm so old. What does that at handle mean on Facebook? Is it at come play in traffic with us? I think so. But see, we also we're going to set up an Instagram. Yeah, she's yeah. It's funny because I'm, I'm the older sister, but she is old. So we're going to set up an Instagram right. because that's, yeah. I'm more um, active on Instagram, I think. And yeah. uh, so we'll, we'll have all that set up for you guys to reach out to us, come talk to us, chat with us. You know, we want to have an open dialogue. We're yeah. not coming out here to, you know, just say our side of the story or just put blame on anybody. Actually, you know, I take responsibility for my actions. However, I do think that, uh, you know, I, think I might have been under some type of control. I yeah. think that it was, like, not even until a week ago that you honestly were able to even say, like, oh, that was kind of messed up a little bit. Not that anyone directly, but, like, just that, like, I think it was the first time that I ever heard you have any, like, negative. Uh, yes. Like, so can I view I your experience as negative um, outside of, like, your own You've, you've been carrying the weight of all of this as like your own, like, how was I so crazy? I think it's good for you that you're seeing like, you were not crazy. You were involved in something that is like organized to, to manipulate you into those situations, right? Like, like right, the that's what I mean. the group think mentality, it's like designed to do that to you for a reason. Like you're, yeah, I, I think this will be healing for you to kind of see that. Um, of course, if I makes can... their own decisions initially, right? Like, and even like as you're doing it. But that's sort of like the whole point is like eventually you start to think all as like one brain. And that's why yeah. those things can be so dangerous, right? Like um, all, all like religions at some point are like group think, cult mentality you're all believing in the same thing. You're all like striving for the same purpose. Like we need that as humans for survival as like little villages and tribes. But um, yeah, it's just when there's like ill intent and then it's like, uh, like you find out that like some of it's not really true or like there's like different reasons for why they're doing it than what they're telling you. So right, okay. that'll be interesting to explore. It's, it's, it's cool for me to watch you kind of evolve like in your own process of it. Yes. It's like so I, I feel life. that I do. Yes. So we have, a, we've actually been talking about doing this podcast for months for a long time, honestly. Like I've, I've yeah. really always wanted to do a podcast. I love podcasts. Yeah. And, um, can, and, um, I love podcasts and, you know, Lindsay's right. I have been teeter tottering back and forth. And for a long time, I just said, I don't want to talk about the church that much. I don't really, there was a lot I didn't want to talk about. And I just felt like I'm responsible for what I did. And I am responsible for joining and everything. But it's only been, you know, a few weeks that it's actually hit me. I've been reading Steve Hassan's book, shout out to him. Um, 
<laughs> and he is so amazing. And, and just, I'm realizing that I think I was in a cult for the first time. Yeah. And I hate that word cult. I absolutely hate that word. It turns me off so much. And I, and we're going to explore all of that because um, that was also part of the process is sort of making us desensitize to that word cult or preparing us for that type of like persecution. Anyway, we're going to talk about all of those things, but can you hear me? Yeah. So, so I think that's a good yeah. intro to kind of what we're going to be doing. You want to kind of wrap it up and then we'll pick back up next week. And All right. Yeah. So we are so excited to go on this journey together. I am really, really looking forward to this. I feel like, it's going to turn a new page in my own life. And I really, really hope to help people and maybe give some comfort, you know, like I said, to family members or other people who uh, may be studying there, or even people who are still there. I just, you know, I just want them to know that I miss them and that I'm here and that I'm okay and everything's all good, you yeah. know, and um, healthy and happy. And um, yeah, so let's do this. Let's do this and podcast. You haven't burned in hell yet. I haven't. Exactly. And, you know, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. of Yeah, I'm tired of living in fear. Um, you get so scared. Like I've been scared for years, especially when Donald Trump became the president. I thought, oh, my God, this is for. Yeah. And, you know, it didn't happen. And, you know, I've just been waiting for the end of the world for so long. And I'm tired of that. And I'm ready to be living and be free and have my own mind and my own thoughts. So let's do that. Okay, let's do that in this podcast. Boom. I love it. Boom. All right. Well, we will Cheers. see you next time. Cheers to uh, your future, Tony. Cheers to your future. Thanks. Thank you for right. coming to play in traffic with us. We'll see you Thanks. next time. Thanks for playing in traffic. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace. Bye.